Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little bit of Gail Mail, uh, some Etsy Digital Shares Gail Mail as well, e Gail Email, <laughs> and um, and then we're gonna make some snippets because I want to have some of those fun snippets to um, to work with this ephemera that we got ready yesterday. These are the ones that I did yesterday, all sewn up, all ready to go. Um, I did a fun new stitch on that one. Can you, can you see that on the sides? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I just, I just sewed around them and it just finishes them off so nicely. And so we've got that little pile that can be filed in the ephemera box. So, um, let me first say hi and hugs to Kate, to Judy, Martha, and Stephanie, who are the ladies that I'm going to share what, what they sent today. Um, so let's start with Kate. Oh, once again, kind of made me cry. I just, I, I don't know. I, it, it just is so touching to me. She has made hundreds and hundreds i maybe she's over a thousand now of masks and she sent mike and i each a mask and uh, my friend's coming over today and i thought how fun is it to have a new mask to wear it says fabulous called and i answered <laughs> i just i love them thank you so much kate and mike was excited to have a new one too isn't it funny it's like the face masks have become the new like a new t-shirt or something no new face mask all excited to wear it <laughs> So thank you so much, Kate, and thank you for all you did or have done, continue to do through this um, pandemic because you have helped so many people. And thank you for sharing a couple with us. So um, that's from Kate. And oh, I have to point this out too on her card if I can get a hold of it here. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but she did this die cut, do small things with great love. And she's layered it like three times. And so it gives it a really cool kind of a shadowing effect. That's really cool, Kate. I love that. Thank you. And then these are from Judy. Judy is my handmade ephemera on Etsy. And she just sent, she sent a little thank you. So this is a super cute card. I'm excited these two cards are going to be fun in my um, correspondence journal. So she she sent along this fabric that is fabulous i love that and then this one she made into a pocket super cute and look at this a beachy a beachy car uh it's a tim holtz pocket and she put it on a card and so that can go in my journal that i'm working on and then she sent three of these um catalog card catalog cards and that she's collaged up and oh my those are so fun that's inspiring me to do some of those and she sent more lace things to wrap lace so that's exciting she has these in her shop as well and then look at this cute pocket and tag so it's a window envelope pocket then a pocket on the front and super cute i love it and i i have those papers too <laughs> so that will definitely go with with some of my stuff and then pockets here out of time cards that she's decoupage napkin on that one and collaged paper on this one so if you haven't visited judy's shop you should because she has fun things in there like this <laughs> So, so thank you so much, Judy. Thank you for the ephemera. You know I can use it. Always can use ephemera. Okay, then I have some um, digital shares. This, let me zoom. This is from my friend Martha at uh, Shabby Craft Studio. And this kit is called Stitches. And it's going to be really fun for the back of journaling cards and tags and things. And, you know, these can be used as labels. So 
Really cute, really cute. Thank you so much, Martha. I think those are gonna be way fun on the backs of things. And then Martha has a couple of collage kits. This is collage kit uh, uh, set one. And um, I'll be sharing set two down the road. We had a little difficulties with our emails. So um, anyway, she's going to send collage uh, set two is going to be coming. So, so pretty. I love the neutrals, love the pinks in it. So, um, so yeah. Isn't that pretty? She's got lace in there, doilies all sorts of old, um, you know, like receipts and letters and things, book page in a different language. Oh yeah, I <laughs> I went ahead and um, printed that one twice. Martha and I, we were having difficulties this morning. It happens. So anyway, Shabby Craft Studios, that's my friend Martha Manigros. So um, go check those out. And then um, last but certainly not least is um, Stephanie at My Porch Prints uh, has, has these lovely kits. So this one is called Butterfly Papers Brown, I believe. So I think there's six pages in each one of her kits. Aren't they gorgeous? Going to be fun for collage. And this one, I couldn't quite tell the name. Butterfly Papers P, I think it said. Anyway, it's kind of colored with pink and teal rather than the brown, right? So it's got like watercolors behind. It's really pretty. This one's cool. It's a kind of a greenish. And then there's the pink. And then this one's the teal. And then there's pink splashed up there. Yeah, I think those are fabulous. So pretty, Stephanie. And then shabby book pages, which, you know, these are going to be so great for collage, right? These bits and pieces. Yeah. And then this looks like it's in another language. I can't guess which one. And then shabby book pages rose. So these are similar, but they've got... They've got rose motif all through them. So this one almost looks like linen. It's really cool. So there are the rose ones. So pretty. And then this naughty girl, Stephanie, naughty, naughty, naughty. She sent me Christmas. <laughs> it makes me want to do Christmas. <laughs> These are super cute. Look at the, the little pockets. So we'll have to make those one day. So yeah, you just attach the little pocket at the bottom. Aren't those so cute? Yeah, I guess it's okay, Stephanie, because I already got my um, cover for my December daily. And then this one, of course, has, look at it, it's got a bunny. That's fun. So I printed these on cream colored cardstock just so I'd, they'd have a little more heft to them. I love Dolly Dimple. So cute. So thanks so much, Stephanie. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Kate, Judy, Martha, and Stephanie. I appreciate it. So got lots of fun things to use. Okay. So we're going to do some snippets today because I wanted to, um, I really liked how those turned out on some of my other collage journal journal cards and tags. So I want to do, you know, the method where you just kind of plop them around. So I grabbed out, well, I grabbed out some doily and I grabbed out some music paper because I thought maybe we'd use this music paper on here. And then I just, I grabbed my scraps. So, um, cause that's always a good thing to use those up. So we're just going to get, we're just going to get rip roaring here and I'm just going to do them. And, um, I thought, I thought we'd put the music first, kind of, um, kind of decide what size we want here. Let me 
maybe this little one. Okay. And I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really concentrate on not thinking too much about this because I really, I just want to get them done. I want to get them done so that I can then um, be working on the ephemera. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Maybe do some smaller ones. I'd have to do a teeny tiny one right there. Or we'll go this way with it. Yeah, so my friend's coming over to craft today. And so I'm so excited to have the, um, the face masks from Kate because that'll be that'll just be fun to be wearing a new face mask. So sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that over the side. I guess I didn't want to blow the papers anywhere. Okay, and the thing I'm doing a little differently this time is I went ahead and got a legal sized uh, eight and a half by 14 rather than eight and a half by 11 because I figured that gives gives us one more. I think what I'm going to do is just quick like I'm just going to ooh hoo them down just so they stick a little bit for sewing. Um. And if I decide I want distressing, I'll do it afterwards. Um, but I don't, you know, these are so kind of busy and fun anyway. Okay. Got that, got that layer done. Okay, so now... I think I might want some of this doily. Oh, guess it doesn't matter that it's torn, right? Oh, oh, there's two. Hello, there's two doilies there. I do believe. Yep. Okay, well, all the better. I'm just going to put those on that one. I'll peel this apart. I don't want it to cover up the whole thing. Plop them down and then I'll just give them a little bit of glue like I did before. You just need a tiny bit more for two more of them. Then we had that layer. Yeah, I wanted to really bust through this, hoping that I'd get these done and we could um, go ahead and do a little decorating on some more. This was just such a, a nice way to just kind of finish off that if ephemera. I did it, I don't know, a while ago. And I really liked how they came out on some of them. I put an applique on top and... I really loved how they came out. Whoopsie. Stuck to my finger and pulled it off the page. <laughs> so we've got a rainy day yet again today. Super rainy. So I told my friend, call me when you get in the driveway and I'll open the garage door so you can run in. 
Um, yeah, so it's just, uh, it's just very rainy, which is nice. It's good to have, it's good to have rain. Okay, so I really like these. I'm not, I can't tell you where this, it might be journal centric or one of those might be, I don't know. But I thought I'd use some of it. I think it will, I think it will go just fine with the, um, with what we have going on in ephemera wise. Oh, got a little funny thing going on there. And a couple more. Let's see, I'm just gonna how about how about a little of this? This I know is already maze. Which feels very bright, doesn't it? <laughs> After doing those other ones, isn't that funny? Okay, what else? might we have that we might like to do. I love this typewritten stuff. Oh, I better put these down, right? Just give them, give them a little so they stay down. This is kind of a exercise in see how fast you can go. Oh, I forgot one, didn't I? Oopsie. Grab you back out. Oh, this is a fun piece of paper. Let's use that there. Okay. It just flew out of my bag, so I assumed it wanted to be used. <laughs> Poor Jimmy Joe, we've been trying to keep him in as much as possible, and he loves being outside, but man, it's just wet out there. So, we've kind of tried, tried to discourage him from spending too much time outside. Oh, poor guy. One more will do it, I hope. I'm gonna be so sad when this book is gone. This was this was, book was a lovely happy meal from um, from a gal who was getting out of the journaling journal making business. <laughs> she decided she was she was done. Um, Oh, wouldn't you know, I need one itty bitty piece. Let me grab my itty bitties over here. Maybe there's a, here's an itty bitty piece of Italian book. That will work. Okay, let's get those down. And then the other thing I was wondering is if I want a little lace of some sort. Oh, oh, I missed one, didn't I? Whoopsie. Okay. There's my little bitties again. I'm sure you guys are seeing it and telling me, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, here's one.
Okay. Now, do I want just a little lace? I don't know. I'm looking at my little scrappy, scrappy things. Thinking, do I want a little here and there? That's a good one. bigger okay actually I'm just gonna ooh hoo these two I will ooh hoo them once I get get done just a little piece here be fun put it this way so the fold works with me not against me right off the ring here. Okay. Maybe I want it this way. And it's not covering up the book page as much. Okay, and we'll do this one in half. Okay. And then a few more. Let's see. How about a little bit? Oh, that's too. Ooh, how about a little bit of this? Well, this would be good. Okay, and I'm just going to do another one of those. Okay. And then we're ready to sew. Oops. Just want to hold them on there while I stitch. Nothing. I mean, this is not gluing them forever more. It's just for while I stitch. However they're going on there, that's how they're going on. <laughs> okay. Good. So now I'm going to put my scraps away so that this has a minute to dry. Pop those back where they go. And then let's... I'm going to move this for a second and get my sewing machine over here. And I'm going to just, I'm going to sew them all together here. Um, deciding, I think I just want a straight stitch. And I'm going to lengthen the stitch a little bit just because paper, you know. Okay. Pretty dry, decently dry, not super dry. Maybe we'll start over here. I'm just gonna start over here and I'm just gonna go down the middle of them for now. I didn't get any lace on that one or it fell off one or the other Let's put a little bit there okay 
just cutting off of whatever was close. <laughs> Whoopsie. one flew off too. Okay. So now they're all stitched kind of down the middle. I'm just going to kind of go piggledy piggledy. be good. Get rid of Mr. Sewing Machine. Okay, cool. So, I'm not, I, last time I tore them apart and then sewed them, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. This is kind of new for me, so you're going to, I'm going to have to cut through, I'm going to have to cut through the um, stitching, looks like. How far are we into our hour? Oh, just half an hour. Look how quick that was. Let's see, what do I, what do I have here? Like 16, 17 snippets in a half an hour. Ooh, I like that. That is fun. Oh, didn't quite get it. Hey, how fun is this? Isn't it so fun? <laughs> I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. Um, yeah, so. Let's kind of tear off some of the wacky ones and the straight edge. I thought about tearing the straight edges before I started, but this works fine. Rip, cut, rip, cut. This one I practically covered up all the music paper, but 
it's okay. Okay. Oh, this one has the string. This must have been the starting point. Okay. Oh, I like these. They're really good and neutral, and I was kind of wanting that because I feel like there's a lot going on on the ephemera that I made, so... until it's time to cut, Gail. Well, that's interesting. Okay. liking the sizes that they're turning out too. Sorry I got quiet there. Jeez, I was just really concentrating on the old rip and cut, wasn't I? Okay. A little bit of variety in how big they are. A bitty one, a little bitty one. I love it that you can just get so many so quickly and as you saw I was just slapping things down not even thinking and I love how they turned out might be a little much at the top here too <clears throat> and then this guy he's all sorts of weird So let's see how they might look on some of that ephemera from yesterday. Um, yeah, okay. So this is, this is my pile. Tags. Got some pockets. Okay, tags, pockets, and journaling cards. A couple journaling cards. The pockets are what I need though. So let's get out our distress ink. Okay, I'm thinking, don't want it so big that it covers up the whole thing. That's kind of nice. Oops. 
throw them on the floor. I actually really like this one. So now I'm just going to go a little bit around the edges. Okay. I'm going to move these over so I have room to work here. But I still want to be able to see them all so that they... I can pick one that goes well. Okay, I really like that. I'm going to do um, art glitter glue. Make sure it stays. And the nice thing is when you put these on, you can still easily sew around the pocket too. Yeah, the other ones of these that I made, I used them like right away. So, okay, I love that. I'm gonna want a little something. Let me get out, get out a couple of things. These are my SM Tiffany Lane. Why did I want a small heart? too. Nice. And then my journey of crafting bucket too. Oh my good grief, that is too cute. Okay, that's a journey of crafting one. Um, I think I'll use glue. I've got my Fun dangle from um, Shell at the Rambling Crafter. She made me that. And um, it fits just great in my Fabri-Tac one. Okay, how cute is that? Right? Oh my gosh, you guys. I was zeroed in the whole time from doing I'm sorry cheesy peasy hopefully you could see some of what I was doing oh that's all right you saw this part <laughs> sorry guys that was that was bad okay well I'll look back at the video if it's too bad I won't post it but if it's okay I will It's probably just totally in your face. I was so excited to do this. I just forgot I was zeroed in on the... Um, oh, I hate to cover that up. They go to the side, huh? With a small one. Okay, and then I think what would I like to put on this one? Um, I have some teeny weeny hearts. Now. So have some of these kind of flowers. Mm. This one's hard because I don't want to cover up that. So maybe I just leave this one. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's, it's not feeling easy to do. Oh, I feel so discouraged that I had you so in on this video. I'm so sorry. Shoot. Probably. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Maybe it'll be okay. I will look at it back before I post it. I was so excited to get 
Um, I was so excited to get a video done before my friend got here. But then I didn't get a very good video done. <laughs> Gosh, again, I really love this. Hate to cover it up. So, did I have kind of a long one? I don't think it's bad to have it on the side, do you? Let's work with that for a second. Boy, it's been a long time since I did a video that I couldn't use. <laughs> okay, kind of like that on the side. It's different. Um, I'm just going to look at my little, if I have any little ones. Like it might be just slightly too big. Hmm. Okay, then, Let's see what else we have. I wonder if a butterfly would be better. I'm not, I'm thinking because there's all this going on. I did do some fussy cutting. Oh, I left it all upstairs. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. That's what we'll do on this one. They don't all have to be the same exact formula, do they? Okay, and then I have two more pockets. I was thinking of doing this um, doing this while my friend was here, but I think I might work on my mixed media Minnesota notebook, traveler's notebook. Yeah, that's kind of fun. That's then got a little bit of zip to it, doesn't it? wonder if I need a little butterfly right there, though. I'm thinking I might. Very tiny one. Very. So tiny. Where's my so tinies? Here's my so tinies. Oh, there's a couple of possibilities here. You know me, I don't like things in twos. So, maybe we'll put a word on it. I do like my words. Find your words, Gail, find your words. can't not post this video because of the happy mail. So I apologize for being close, but that's how it's going to be. I'm going to post it anyway. How's that for being a rebel? I didn't even try it to see if I liked it. It's going on there cute. I think that will do. It will do, won't it? It's 
So there's that one. Okay. Okay, this one's this one's going to be hard. They're all going to be hard because I like I like how they are, you know. Which I wouldn't have to decorate them, I guess, but they could just be patchworky like this, but pretty. Then, what do we want on this one? Maybe we could use this because it's got kind of that color right there. Yep, I like that. It's nice. Don't want it over to the side. So it's kind of different to put it on the side like that. I think I might do that just for fun. Okay, then I want to do a um, journal card because I want to do a bit, a bit bigger one. Okay, and then I better use my fabric tack. We're going to go to the side, right? Just for something different. Might go side and up a little. Yeah, I like that. Okay. That is that one. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's do a journaling card. I'm going to end up covering up the postage stamp, but oh well. So these will need to be sewn around. Which I maybe can get done before lunch, I don't know. I can't, can't say for sure. Okay, so I can use a bit bigger one. Yeah, that's good. And then I can use maybe a little bit bigger applique too, I don't know. the flower still shows. I like the things that still show. That's kind of nice. It's an SM Tiffany Lane. There's this one. Ooh, I like that. Okay. No, that's not. That's a uh, journey of crafting. Sorry. These these two as well, Journey of Crafting. I have my have my SM Tiffany Lane kind of buried there. Okay. These are gonna be fun to use. Then I had this kind of sideways, didn't I? Yep. Okay, so then, I 
kind of like to give some things like this away too as the thank yous when people order a journal so or purchase a journal on my Etsy so they'll be good for that too Oh, cute journaling card. Yes. Okay. Let me check the time. We have about 10 minutes. Maybe we should do a tag too. Then we'll have three pockets, a journaling card, and a tag. So maybe... I'll just grab one of these. just doing a tiny corner because um, I didn't want to lose the napkins which are on there so that's okay still a tag shape it's all good okay oh that's a fun back Be a fun one to journal on. Okay. Um, oh, maybe this one. Oh, yeah. Put it right about there. Something there. This, that would be cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that one's from SM Tiffany Lane. See if I use up all these, um, Appliques that you know what that means. I need to go buy some more. <laughs> Turning over the inventory, let's call it. <laughs> because truth be told, I do kind of want to hoard them, but <laughs> you know, I bought them to use them, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's pretty, pretty and romantic. I think it needs some lace as a topper, don't you? Let's see what we have in the scrap box. Then, oh, this would be maybe cute. Maybe we'll just do it this way. Yep, that's what I'm, I'm going to, when I sew it, I'll sew that on like that. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. Ooh, would we want this little piece on there too? This just fell out. See, things fall out. They tell me they want to be on a piece. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, let's see. Where are we? We are, are, we are at close to an hour. So I am going to just show you what we did. So this will be sewn on. They'll all be sewn around. 
our journaling card, our pockets, and I still have what, two, four, six, eight left. So I could kind of keep going. If I do keep going, if I happen to do this while my friend is here, I don't know that I will, but if I do, then um, I will definitely show you next time. I'll show you the sew around next time. And so I think we'll call that good. So thanks everybody so much for watching and for, and I, again, I apologize for being like in your face up close. Jeez. I hope that turned out, turns out okay. So anyway, maybe you just fast forward through all of that. So thanks everybody. Have a grateful day. We'll see you next time. Bye.